I'm delighted to say joining us is Hayley Turner, who will be riding at her first Dubai World Cup meeting in the Alcoz Sprint riding Margot did uh, for my brother. Anyway, but first up, Hayley, let's talk about you were riding the horse this morning. You are a prolific tweeter, but after your um, spin on the horse this morning, you seem very excited about the prospects. Yes, I am. She's, um, she's going really well. She's come on a lot from her run a couple of weeks ago, which she needed. I think um, she only got beat four lengths, and the rest of the field had, you know, had fitness on their side. So um, Jill Dolman, who's looking after them, has done a really good job with her and Wigmore Hall. And this is a horse that you've, well, you've ridden only in one occasion. You didn't ride the horse when you were laid up with a with a broken ankle after last year. You've and she got to know this well horse. without me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she's. Um, I know her really well. Um, the owners have been big supporters. Um, it's been there's a few times she's been running over six furlongs and she hasn't really stayed, in my opinion. And um, it's always looked like it could have, you know, instead of blaming the jockey, thankfully, they've left me on board. And um, it was nice that I could return it, you know, the favour when they when she won the Nunthorpe at, at York. Well, obviously, that crowned part of a remarkable year for you last year with those two Group 1 successes. I mean, for people who don't know, that was a, a big moment back home in Britain for you and, I suppose, the sport of racing. Yeah, brilliant. I kind of never sort of expected to have two Group 1 winners at the beginning of the year, and I think it's going to be a tough year to beat. Um, but I'm obviously going to get my head down and hopefully it'll... Um, snowball from there. And um, what do you set yourself a target? I mean, obviously, another hundred winners. Is that what you'd like, or what do you say um, you'd like to try and do this? I'm going to try and stay in one piece this year. <laughs> That's the main main plan. Um, it was disappointing. I had to sort of last the last day of August when I broke my ankle. I missed out on quite a lot. I think towards the end of the season, um, <clears throat> I didn't really get a chance to sit on any of the you know the later two year olds. So. Um, yeah, it'd be it's quite exciting again starting starting the grass. I've been looking forward to it for a long time. So, and for you, I mean, last year again, I mean, harping back to last year, everyone just sort of it sort of transformed your your life in every aspect, didn't it? Because of the attention that it that it gathered as a result of winning those two group ones. Yeah, I think um, I think before last year, the whole being a girl thing, I've always tried to play it down, and it's no big deal. And and now I think now that I've People can see that you know it's, it's you know doable. That I can kind of use it into my advantage a little bit now, and um, it's just kind of snowboard publicity-wise as well. And um, you know people people know me more now, and um, the whole tweeting thing is taking off. It's, um, yeah, it's Do you been, enjoy that side of it? Because it's yeah. sometimes it can, can can come at a cost. Well, I think only you know you're the one that's that's writing it so anything any damage done is your own fault really isn't it and i think it's um it's social media is where it's going it's like when the internet kicked off years ago it's um you need to get on board whilst it, you know whilst it started okay questions for Haley from the from the floor uh, Hayley, uh, before Chantal takes history on, on riding the world cup you in fact become the first lady jockey to ride on world cup night how do you look to it? I'm really excited, really excited. Um, it's um, it's just brilliant to be a part of it. I'm usually sort of at home watching it, and um, yeah, I'm just just thrilled to be a part of it. And obviously, it's nice to be the first girl, but it's good that Chantelle's here as well. Um, she deserves a lot of credit, and obviously, riding in the big race. And so, yeah, I think it's um, it's a bit of a breakthrough again for the girls. I think. You talk to talk about a breakthrough, I mean, what does it mean for two women to, to ride it, or is, is that, is, people make too much of that, I mean, what's, what's the significance Well, it, of it? it is a first, isn't it, so people are going to, to make a big deal about it, I think, and, um, but it's, you know, there has to be a first for everything, and then, you know, next year, if there's a few more girls, it won't, it won't be a big deal, and um, I think it's been part of, you know, my career is you know having these breakthroughs and it's it's been nice to be able to do it but then it's nice now that it's it's normal as well people can accept me for as a jockey rather than you know a girl you know riding well so um just to follow up to that i mean i i cover horse racing once a year so i mean in in britain are you you know chantel's a bit he's kind of a become slurry or reality star model, I mean, and she's still one of, like, 
10 female jockeys in stakes five that are riding at the top level. I mean, how is it for you? Are you still kind of an unusual? I mean, are there more women coming in now? I mean, are you yeah, there's um, Kath Kathy Gannon. Um, she's a really good jockey. Um, she's from Ireland, but rides in the UK. Um, and there's a num there's a handful. Um, but there, the, the standard of female jockeys is getting a lot better now. What's the biggest challenge looking ahead for female jockeys? Do they still face a lot of, uh, I don't know about discrimination, but just kind of hurdles that maybe male jockeys don't face? Um, no, I don't think so. I think that if they're good enough, then they can get on. What is your first impression of, of the track here? Oh, it's amazing, yeah. It's beautiful. It's, the whole place is just flawless, isn't it? It's, um, it's yeah, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm lucky to be a part of it. Beat Friday at Sobel, hasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> except for you, you don't get Nana's cottage pies at, at Maidan, whereas you do at Southwell, so... <laughs> Yeah, obviously she's um, made massive breakthroughs, but um, yeah, I met her and also Emma Jane Wilson was there that day, and we had um, we had a good bit of banter between us. It's actually quite nice, you know, that there was a the weighing room was, you know, there was a crowd of girls in there. It's usually me or me and Kathy at home, or you know, only a handful of us. So um, yeah, she's re really nice, good fun. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to have her in the weighing room because I was here a couple of weeks ago and it's amazing weighing room. We've got saunas, like massive showers, loads of room, plasma telly, and then there's just me. <laughs> so <laughs> it'd be nice to have someone to share it with. Yeah, it's really is. Brilliant! It's really smartest one of uh, Ascot's a nice changing room as well. But yeah, I gather so. also there's a sort of clothes exchange between the pair of you. Is that the case? A oh yeah, well, riding gear actually. We, she sent over a jacket of hers, and um, I had a Racing UK top that she she wanted. So yeah, we'll probably probably be up to that again, no doubt. Have you brought anything specific there? No, I've got a few. I've got a few bits of. I've, it's, my my packing's been. I have to have be quite talented at it. I've had to get my riding gear in, my race riding gear, um, my gym gear, and then lots of shoes. So it's, there's only so much you can get in. Really? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. We'll soon find out. Uh, hey, I mean, obviously Chantel being in. Big race is that sort of an, an incentive for you now that she's she's had this breakthrough that you can possibly go on that the doors open and also how important is it that she she performs well for for, for female jockeys because obviously the prejudice could then say well I think she's she's a professional and very good at her job and she's going to perform well that's not you no know, question about it i think it's more a question of how the horse is going to perform and it's the same for any jockey it's the horse at the end of the day is the one with the ability and, and the most difficult task for us is getting on the horses with the ability and then it gets easier from there you you kind of alluded to the fact that you know you, you didn't like the girl tag in the beginning i mean do you think um I mean, why, well, why would you prefer to be known as a jockey rather than a girl? Well, I think at the time I was um, trying to blend in with the lads and be a jockey and, and, and get people to, to just accept me, for, you know, for a, a good jockey, whereas now I can um, be a good jockey and the added advantage of being female is that, that I get a bit more publicity, um, you know, promote my brand a bit more and, and use that side of things, in, in, you know, to my advantage. With publicity, I'm assuming, comes pressure, you know what I mean? How you, how Precious for tyres. <laughs> 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 um, I think I'm, I'm actually quite lucky that she's a very straightforward ride. Um, five furlongs, straight course. I'm drawn on the outside. She doesn't... She doesn't need pulling about, and, and the key to her is getting her in her own comfort zone and in a rhythm. So um, it's, not, it's not as difficult as, like, 
Wigmore Hall, for instance, is drawn, you know, 15 on the round course. He's, he's going to have to be very tactical and think, you know, it's going to take a lot more riding than, than she would. So, I'm, you know, it's um, quite lucky in that way, I think. Um, but at the same time, it, you know, always like a challenge and um, just take it as it comes and enjoy it, basically.